Well, new here at 10 o'clock, a part-time job can ease the financial burden that comes with getting a college education. But for one student, a dream job turned into an expensive nightmare. My team's Kevin Ozebeck with 7 Investigates. Broward College student Josiah Ho was eager to make a few extra bucks. A job I could work at home, a job I could do on my own time. So when he logged onto his college email and saw this message advertising a job, he jumped at the chance. I thought this is a great opportunity, really good pay for a college student. The email is from someone named Emily with a Broward College email address. She offered a part-time job for an organization she called NGO Recruitment Relief that pays up to $500 a week. A perfect job for a college student and I was very happy to have it so I responded fast to everything. This is the application Josiah was sent. It describes a job for an administrative assistant that would help orphanages and foster homes. It's good experience. I get to help kids and I get paid. There was no downside to this. After being hired, Josiah got this email from NGO Recruitment Relief. It says the company would provide Josiah with money to buy all the items the foster homes requested. He sent me a check. He said to print it out and cut it out and then do the mobile deposit. The check was for $4,500. He was told to deposit it, keep $500, then send the rest via Zelle and PayPal to two other people in the company. Josiah never questioned why, but the problems soon began. I got a call from Wells Fargo saying, your account is negative. The check you gave was found to be counterfeit. Josiah texted his boss for help. He sent me a second check. He tried to cash it, but his bank told him. Both of the checks were counterfeit. The person at the bank um, basically told me, oh yeah, you're going to be liable for this. Since the job posting came through his school's email system, Josiah asked Broward College for help, but he did not get any. I feel let down. Broward College tells us we are saddened to learn that a phishing scam has negatively impacted one of our students. While we make every effort to educate and protect our students against these scams, Broward College does not guarantee the security or confidentiality of the use of its email system. What's the point of a private email if it's not secure? Josiah says he is now seeing more scam emails like the one he was sent in his inbox. Broward College has sent out this alert warning students about about job scams. As an example, it includes the email that cost Josiah thousands of dollars. Kevin Ozebeck, 7 News. If there is something you think we should look into, email us at 7investigates at wsvn.com or call us at one of the numbers you see there on the screen.